Hi everyone, my name is Abby Fuller and I'm a technical evangelist here at Amazon Web Services. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through how to create task definitions for Amazon Elastic Container Service, or ECS. Amazon Elastic Container Service is a high performance container management service that makes it easy to run Docker containers on AWS. To use Amazon ECS, you need to work with a couple of different components. A cluster of instances, which are Amazon EC2 virtual machines, services, which decide when and where containers should be run on your cluster, and tasks, which are a logical group of containers running on an instance. In this segment, we'll talk about how to work with task definitions, which you can think of as the recipe that Amazon ECS uses to run tasks on your cluster. Task definitions are written as JSON statements. Like any recipe, the task definition has a list of ingredients and parameters around how to use them. For tasks, we can control things like container image, environment variables, resource allocation, logger, and other parameters. The task definition includes the container and volume definitions needed to run tasks on your cluster. Each task definition can include definitions for multiple container images that you may want to run together. A few of the parameters and task definitions are mandatory. So these include the name, which you can enter here, you can also add a task role, a network mode, and a container definition. The container definition is also mandatory, and it lets you control things like resource allocation, ports, and loggers. As with the main task definition, some fields here are mandatory. So that's the name again, and you also need to specify where you're pulling an image from. So the URL of your registry, the namespace, and the actual image. Here we'll be using the latest. In this case, I'm pulling an image from Amazon Elastic Container Registry, or ECR. You can specify a tag here. In this case, I've used latest, but you could also use a SHA from a git commit or a hash from a build number from your CI CD system if you are automatically generating task definitions. You can also specify resources here, including CPU and memory. ECS recommends allocating at least 300 megabytes to web applications, so we'll start there. You can specify both hard and soft limits for memory. A hard limit means your task will be killed if it exceeds the limit, and a soft limit means that a certain amount of memory is reserved, but your container can request up to the hard limit. Next, you need to specify both a host port and a container port. The container port is the port that your container is exposing and that your application is running on, and the host port is what your container port maps to on the instance. If you're using an application load balancer, you can specify zero as the host port, and ECS will allocate a port for you. This is called dynamic port allocation. You also have the opportunity to set some more advanced configuration. A few settings to note. So essential means that your container must be running in order for the task to be running. Next, choose a log driver for your container. You have a few options here, like JSON file, Splunk, or Logly. The default driver is AWS logs, which will send your data to CloudWatch. You can set things like prefix to sort and stream and categorize your logs. Under advanced configuration, you can also do things like mount volumes, set environment variables. Most flags that you pass to Docker run in the command line can also be set here. This includes things like advanced networking, user, and privilege. You can create and update task definitions a couple of different ways, so both through the console or through the CLI. Once a task definition is registered to a service, you can deploy changes to your service by updating the task definition. An update to a task definition is called a revision, and it's just like version control. You can denote revisions by the colon following the task definition name. For example, web app one versus web app two. Once you've created a new revision of your task definition, you can deploy it by updating the service it belongs to. If you're looking to get started quickly with building and deploying task definitions, there are a few resources out there to help. To start, Head to github.com slash AWS samples to see some example task definitions. Let's walk through one of the examples, the task definition for Nginx. It's pulling from the latest version of the Nginx image. It set a couple of values for memory and CPU, so 256 and 256. The Nginx task definition uses port 80. And finally, we use AWS logs as our log driver. Adding this task definition to Amazon ECS is easy. I simply create a new task definition. Then select configure via JSON. I take the JSON code from our repo and paste it in. After I hit save, my task definition is ready to go. 
I can also use a console command to push this definition to Amazon ECS. So that would look something like AWS ECS register task definition and then I can pass in a JSON file and put in the path to my file. Running this task definition is easy. So from Amazon ECS, I can now select and run this as a simple task or as a service. If you want to learn more, see the Amazon ECS documentation. We also have a library of task definitions for common applications on GitHub that you can use and modify. Thanks for watching.